Hey guys, today um, we'll be hitting some shoulders, me and Hannah. Um, I like to start with compounds. So. I don't go full range of motion, I don't like that. <clears throat> it's very important to warm up properly. To movement, I like to start off with 135 for maybe 12 to 15. Um, no belt, nothing like that. Um, and yeah, I'm not going full range of motion. I go to about, about here. Okay, then what I like to do is I like to add 20 pounds to whatever I'm doing and go by down by like two to four reps every time depending on how I'm feeling. So that was 12. Maybe if I'm feeling great, I'll do 10. If I'm feeling heavy, I'll do eight. Um, and then I'll add another 20 pounds. Um, the highest I'll get on this is like 225 for three. How's that working? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I did a couple more sets of that until I got down to maybe three reps. Doing these bad boys. Do I build those big daddy shoulders? And we'll probably just do the same thing, start around 12 and work our way down. <laughs> Get the darkness. Sometimes in between sets, I like to just hit a failure set of pull ups, usually about 40 or 50. Uh, just to get that extra work in right before I uh, get back into my next set. So now I have 35 on here. And then, and then I'll just go into another set of 50 pull-ups. Another thing I like to do in between sets um, when I'm not doing pull-ups is pistol squats. So I'll usually do about 30 to 40 pistol squats. <laughs> You should know that. <laughs> I'll hit 30 to 40 pistol squats each leg in between sets because like if I just I'm feeling too then I'm not you know tired enough I'll just crank out 30 pistol squats each leg and then get right back into the set so you guys can add that to your regimen. So our top set today you know I'm not feeling the best is uh, 135 so we're just gonna get to get and once again don't criticize my form I don't really care about form um, I'm not a power lifter, so, you know, whatever. Again. Now we're going to do some laterals. Oh, so. We're just gonna get into it with 60 pound lateral raises. I don't give a fuck about the form. I'm probably gonna go to about here because, um, you know, girls, they don't care about, they don't give a fuck about your form. They care about the number on the dumbbell, right? Right. Yeah, <laughs> all right. You can see how the 55s feel. Um, I wanna warm up a little bit, so. Yeah, it's feeling a little heavy today. Not gonna lie, probably gonna stick to around 55. All right, anyway, um, we're gonna just do it again. Just go. Sometimes we'll do some, some rear dope flies with these, just in between sets. And then we'll just get straight in up. We'll go straight back in some rears. <clears throat> you know what I'm and then once again, don't forget the pull-ups and the pistol squats in between every set. So. Okay. So I don't really need to hit front delts. They're already too big. I'm gonna start hitting some rear delts. So I'm gonna start hitting some rears. And then we're just gonna call it a day. So you're gonna get the incline position here. I'll do 30s for maybe like a set of like 40 or something, 20 reps. 
You can cut it. We don't want to see the whole 40. <laughs> you know, like hardcore in the gym? Iron Crew skull bracelets. They still look extra hardcore. And then you're gonna just get back into it. Another 40, 40 reps. It's 30 pounds, nice and light. Most important thing at the end of every workout is hitting abs hard. So usually, I get on a pull-up bar like this. And I'll just do like maybe six sets of 100. Also, this hoodie, Retaliation Project, code Horse Me. Thanks for watching the show today, guys. Hope you liked it. Um, my Instagram's Horse Me One and Horse Me Two, and I got a hundred TikTok accounts that start with Horse Me. Peace.